Superficial perivascular pattern is very nonspecific. It just means you have lymphocytes around the superficial vessels. In this case, they're very, very sparse. Um, it really is a nonspecific finding that can be seen in drug eruptions, viral rashes, urticaria, and sometimes just as a nonspecific finding. This particular case was urticaria because of the scattered, eosinof uh, scattered eosinophils and neutrophils just sparsely sprinkled in the dermis. And clinically, it had you know hive-like hive, hive lesions that resolved quickly um, uh, within less than 24 hours. Superficial and deep perivascular pattern is a little bit more useful. Uh, it tends to have a list of diseases, a, a more specific list that, that tend to have deep perivascular infiltrate in addition to superficial. So this one, you can see the vessels up top and also down in the deep dermis have perivascular infiltrate. In this case, this was an arthropod bite reaction. If you look closer, you'd find a lot of eosinophils, particularly down deep. And clinically, it was a solitary itchy lesion after the person, you know, went on a camping trip or something. So um, there are a variety of other more esoteric diseases that also can have superficial and deep perivascular. But once you see that, you can go and then look at these lists of, of diseases that can have that and see what fits with the clinical. Here's an example of another arthropod bite. You can see even from low power, all that pink and orangey stuff down there, those are going to be a ton of eosinophils. But this one has so much edema, it made a subepidermal blister. On a superficial biopsy, this can look a lot like bullous pemphigoid. We're not going to go into autoimmune blistering diseases today, but it's an important uh, differential to keep in mind. And remember that bug bites can get bullous and blistered too. And here, this beautiful little thing is called a flame figure. It's not a specific finding. It's, it's often uh, uh, the kind of buzzword for Wells syndrome, which you do not need to know about. But really, I've seen them in big, really juicy arthropod bite reactions before. There are a ton of eosinophils clinging to a collagen fiber and then degranulating and kind of destroying it. That is uh, evidence for sure that we have an arthropod bite, uh, and in this case, not, a, not an insect, but a, uh, an arachnid, a tick. And this is what a tick mouth part looks like. This yellow stuff is chitin from the, uh, the uh, outer shell, the exoskeleton of the tick. This is the case I showed at the beginning, and it's superficial and deep with some edema. And this is a, something called perniosis or chillblains. People get these painful purple areas on their toes and fingers. And uh, I just am showing it here, not because you probably need to know it, but because I used that picture at the beginning. And in case you were curious, now you know this is perniosis or chillblains.